Now it's a complaint we've covered before here at WGNO News. People saying their bills from the Sewage and Water Board are too high and wrong. Now those customers can fight those bills with new laws passed by the City Council. WGNO's Brittany Dixon is here to explain them. Brittany. You guys, I think the biggest part of this is the help that comes from the council. I mean, like Kurt said, we've shared these stories for months of people with these water bills that cost them thousands of dollars. And now they're getting some relief from the council. I am so thankful that the council uh, member is taking over now. We met Christiana Ford last November when she went to the Sewerage and Water Board to dispute a nearly $2,600 bill. Uh, I had to go through about uh, those same people about 10 times. I never could get nothing done. They did adjust it, uh, their water bill, but it still left me with a thousand to pay. Ford told us then her bill was normally around $100 a month, so she would have actually benefited from this new help from the council. I believe a problem may be solved with the council people. Here's how the council is stepping in. An ordinance passed Thursday saying if the sewerage and water board fails to bill a customer three months in a row, the customer will not have to pay for those months. If a customer receives a bill 20% higher than their last, like Ford did, they can select a deferred payment program. And if a customer disputes a bill, they can appeal it to the council to let them decide what happens. Ford tells us, she may have to take note of these new changes. My beer is slowly climbing back up. It's slowly going back up. So I got new plumbing did from front to back of my house. So I shouldn't have that problem. Sewerage and Water Board staffers released a statement to us this afternoon saying they are on board with some of the changes, but there are two of the new requirements they believe would cost unnecessary time and money. That complete statement is on our website, WGNO.com.